Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. My name is Dr. Wolfgang Amadeus Suckett. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I was not named after Wolfgang Amadeus Movatart. He was named after me. Anyways, today we are taking a look at a deck that I picked up on Untapped GG, referred to as Azorus, Azorius Control. So that means blue, white, and control. Let's see what we got in it today. We've got Usher of the Fallen, which comes out for one. It's a two one, which is pretty good unto itself. And then we got boast. So that means that when it is attacking, that you can pay an additional two to create a one, one white human creature token, not attacking, just kind of standing there watching, but at least you could do something on the following turn. That's not so bad. Uh, Fading hope, which is a bounce card. And if the thing that you bounce has a mana to value of three or less, you get to scry one. That's so it's way better than the original bounce, which was just return target. I guess it was pretty much anything permanent. This is a target creature, so it's on hand. So yeah, but still, I like it. I like Fading Hope quite a bit. Uh, Fateful Absence, so you destroy a target creature or Planeswalker, and they get to investigate, which is they pay two, sacrifice it, and they get to draw a card. Uh, we got Luminarch Aspirant. Aspirant. And uh, that one helps your other guys bump up. It can pump itself up. It's a pumper. Pump, 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 pump. We got Professor of Symbiology. She's got awesome glasses, and uh, she helps you learn. Other than that, she is just ready to take one for the team. And when it comes to learning, these are the things we got. We got Mascot ex Exhibition. I don't think you're learning the Legion Angels, um, but we do have uh, Expanded Anatomy, which you put uh, two plus one plus one counters on target creature and Vigilance until the end of the turn. We got Teaching of the Archaics, which helps you draw some cards. And we got Environmental Sciences, which helps you get some lands. We got Spectral Adversity. Now, this card looks like it should be so awesome. Because look at that art. It is fantastic. But I can never figure out how to play this card well. Because it says it's Flash. They're free to play it on the person's turn. He's flying. He's a 2-1. And then when he enters the battlefield, you can pay an additional 2. He gets that many plus 1, plus 1 counters. And then up to that many target artifacts, creatures, or enchantments phase out. All right. So I guess the deal is, is if something's about to board wipe, then you could play this and you could save a bunch of stuff. That sounds like what the best thing for that guy. Um, all right. So over here we got Elite Spellbinder, which allows you to look through your opponent's hand and make something harder to pay. He's a tax card. Wedding Announcement, probably one of the best cards um, lately for its an enchantment, and you get a bunch of little dudes out of it, and then it becomes a glorious anthem when it's all done. It's not legendary, so you can play it a bunch of these if you want to, which is great. Uh, let's see, next we got Adeline. Adeline's fantastic. She comes out. She's equal. Her power is equal to the number of creatures you control, and whenever you attack, you throw out an attacking 1-1 one, one white human creature and just goes after things. So that's great. And this one here lets you uh, bounce any any non-land permanent of four or less as far as its mana value. And one thing I don't like about Skyclave Apparition is that they end up getting killed and then you end up giving them some halfway awesome token creature that's coming after you, going straight to your throat. Uh, we got the Gaslight Snare. So what does it say? Counter target spell unless its controller plays three. This costs one less if you control a spirit. And one less if you also if you control an enchantment. So as long as you have both of those, this only costs you one blue to do. Not bad. Legion Angel. That's what lets you go get the other three out of your sideboard. It's just a four four a four three flyer, and he just goes and gets it from outside of the game, which means your sideboard there. Uh, Wandering Emperor. There she is. She is your clutch card. She's the one that jumps out of nowhere and slices somebody in half. Can put out a samurai and can make your other dudes uh, slightly bigger and have first strike. So uh, she's pretty awesome. Uh, we got two man lands, a third man land, a bunch of regular lands, and some duels. So let's check it out and see how well this deck performs. And we're playing against Joel. And we have three mana. We got a bunch of little dudes. Let's keep it. I'm going to usher in the fallen. It's 
question is, is do I want to just use his ability to pump out more dudes? And the problem, the answer is yes. Not that one. We'll use this one. Let's go in for the uh, attack. Activate our ability. Create another one. That's a guy that needs to die. Alright, so we're still we're stuck on three mana. We'll be able to put the elite spellbinder out, provided you know what I mean anything else going on. That guy's not good. We can always bounce him back. That's just delaying the inevitable. Oof da. A lot of life gain. All right, so four mana, and then we're now able to do the Wandering Emperor. Uh, who are we going to do here? Let's just pretend that we are without options and Wandering Emperor, the Righteous Valkyrie. Oh, that's not good. Where's off Clerics? Holding up well. And here we go. See, now we're going to have to mess around with some other jerk. Yoink! Bad boys, bad boys, what you're going to do? Uh, let's see, I got three. That could be crazy. Let's just go for that. Oh, he's got two of them. Uh, yeah, why not? Make it harder. Wait, still at 18. It's all that life game. It's just craziness. Yeah, so pretty soon that guy's going to be flying. Which means I have to sit back and wait for that guy to attack, and then you have to wandering Emperor him. Or I can just do this. Let's go, guys! Except for the fact you'll just play a creature and gain like a thousand life.
Let's see, so far I think I've dealt like 40 damage. All right, so I have one guy that can blow, that can fly. Let's see, take it out. Let's, uh... Let's do that. Like this this game is going to take forever. I don't think we have the ability to get anywhere against it with all the graveyard recursion he's got going on. I mean, what does this thing even have in it? Uh, let's see. We'll need another white, potentially. All right, I got two mana. I got a four, three. He's just going to let it through. He likes all of his guys too much. Oh, I should have popped him for that extra one. That's why I saved that two for. See, the thing is, he's always staring down the barrel of a wandering emperor who's completely loaded for elephant at this point. And he can't make it through to kill her in one turn. And so whatever he taps is going to get killed on the next turn. All he could do is beef his own guys up. Looks like he's starting to run out of guys, though, is the problem. Let's blue this puppy. Okay, so we've got a 3-5. All right, so that's not going to make it through, but these guys will. So let's just attack with this guy again. I'll attack next. All right, we got him down to 8. I think with all my flyers, I'm looking really good. It's got to be patient here. Jeez, little freaking we back up to 20 already.
Yeah, he's at the 22 right now. This is just egregious. He just gained, what was that? Uh, 14 life? All right, 6-5. I'm not making it through that 6-8. No attacks. Here goes the next turn. And we're going to be able to phase out three of their guys. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see what we can do. One. Two. Three. One. Two. We think lifelink. Let's give it to her. And let's give it to, uh, to her again. All attack. There you go. Do the math. Um, there's no way, if even if you let it through, I doubt I have 110 life damage right there. What do I got? I got 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, and 48, 58, 65, 65. Yeah, there you go. I got you down to half what you had before. Oh, but then you gained life out of the deal there. I swear to God, if you play a card, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to reach to my monitor and strangle you, Joel. Just go for my throat and finish this game. And then we're gonna block. We're gonna. This is gonna be it. This will let us kill everything that's out here. Uh, I think that's it. Negative twenty-six. Defeat. And we're playing against Leon it de Leonidas Ninja. Leonidas Ninja. Okay, I'm okay with that one. And here we go. Let's see, another uh, uh, six turns from now of nothing but land draw, we'll be able to actually play that, use that card. We 
better just go for lands at this point. Yep, I'm good with that. Why would he think he's ready to pump? Is that the deal? That's got to be it. Uh, let's see, I need more white than blue at the moment. Let's go ahead and give him a future token. I really don't need the extra mana. Let's just start off with the wedding announcement. No attacks. That's not gonna do him any good. He's got trample. Eek. No attacks. Yeah, we're about to get smushed. All right, my dudes are all pumped up. Do I really need another one of these guys? No, I've got two already. We're good to go. My other thought was, well, you know, if the only way this thing is going to work is if these next two guys actually do anything reasonable. All right, so I can kill, I can temporarily withhold two, one, one thing, and three, two is not gonna hold us out too much. So that's going to be twice as big. It's not going to do us any good. Uh, let's just take it here anyway. Yeah, I know that enchantment is just flooring us right now. Unfortunately, Faithful Absence does not do anything to enchantments. So no attacks. This deck has any sort of control in it? Wandering Emperor, that's control. But Faithful Absence is control. Finding Fading Hope is control. Skyclave Apparition.
He's indestructible. Alright, I'm dead. There's nothing I could do to help this out. There's the best I could do. I mean, I guess the best I could do would be to block the werewolf. Because at least he wouldn't trample over the top of me. Dead. Alright, we're playing against Urtai78. We've got two mana. And I'll keep it. What is that thing? Looks like it's a bear. Crunch is fun to eat. All right, so I was kind of really hoping I'd get a third mana by now. So far, that hasn't panned out. Come on here, Ty. You can do it. You're going to give yourself another cat. There we go. Lock it. Was that piece of corn in there? No, that's fish. Okay, it's dead fish. What are you gonna are you gonna counter that? Nope. See you later, Adeline. It was nice knowing you. I guess I didn't leave her with any sort of protection.
You're tied. That's an old name, my friend. You should have be much quicker making decisions for somebody that has to have played along to be able to play that. Be able to use that name. Doom Scar. Oh, Counterspell. Interesting. Nothing's going to save that. This guy likes to mimic life linky cats. Yeah, I'll take that one. Let's go to town. You think his entire game is made up of charm strays? You get another another one one not sure what the point of that was this is small potatoes I am shocked at how competitive this deck has been at such a low level. Like, not just this deck, but both decks are just fighting over these 1s, 1s, and 2s. I mean, Eidolon has been the most egregious card out there. I mean, I guess we had that, that Angel, which I just toasted, but what can you do? What do you think? Counterspell? Go for white. We'll pop this up. It's all in. Got him down to four. One, two, three, four, five. I can actually do the Hall of Storm Dance, I believe. Or do I need seven? I need six. I could do it my next turn. There's a Doom Scar. Still, I think I got this thing one. There we go. Don't have anything, don't have anything, don't have anything, don't have anything. You're staring at it. You got a, it's got a ward on it. Come on. Don't rope me. Don't be rude. Good game, good game. Smoke. All right, so this is Azorius Control. And uh, in the, the, the games I played with this, 
I was very frustrated with it. So what was my problem? Number one, it calls itself control, but there is no board wipes at all. No board wipes at all. And so I thought that was, I thought that was deeply troubling. There was many times where a board wipe would have, it would have solved the problem. And if I knew that I had them, I wouldn't have been committing my forces as hard as I was. So uh, I would even say, like right there, you got that gaslight snare or the counter spell. No, man, take those out. You would put doom scars in instead. You totally need it. Uh, spectral adversary, that worked out way better than I expected, other than the fact that the couple times I was able to use it, you know, I was taking out like three guys out of 4,000 or something. So, eh. Uh, Hall of the Storm Giant, that won me that last game. Okay, so stay in there, Hall of the Storm Giant. You are awesome. Um, Wandering Emperor, excellent. Legion Angel, excellent. Skyfave Apparition, excellent. Adelaine, excellent. What are we looking at here? Faithful Absence, you did a good job. Fading Hope, you're right back at you. Love you. Doing a great job. You know, I got a lot of respect for Usher of the Fallen. The problem is, is that despite the fact that this is a good deck with a lot of good stuff to it, it has zero control over what's going on. I mean, in the broad sense, you need a board wipe desperately. So, yeah, that's the big thing that this particular deck was missing. And in reality, it's like you get rid of these gaslight, the gaslight snares, you put in two of those, and at least you got a fighting chance every once in a while. Um, I would even potentially drop something else out. Like, how did we see this singleton show up? Like, almost all the time. <sighs> yeah, I would probably get rid of it. Maybe make it three of the Doom Scars and get rid of those three or something. I mean, you wouldn't have access to your sideboard if that'd be the case. Rebalance it. You got to do something like that. Anyways, so I think Azorius Control has some uh, has some um, potential. Uh this, this, this deck, as it is, came off of uh, Untapped GG. And let's see what the rating was for this one. It says that it had a 60% win rate. Uh, I, I have a hard time seeing it, personally. So, um, unless it's fighting against, like, I don't know, aggro all the time and somehow can fight those things back I, with the individual kills. Maybe. Maybe. That just wasn't what I was fighting against in my particular matchups right now. So, uh... What am I going to give this deck? I'm going to give it a B plus because I think it's just a couple sh cards away from being an A minus. I don't think it's ever going to be the best deck out there. I don't think it can win tournaments or anything. It could be fun if this is the kind of stuff you like. Um, I'm not a counterspell person. So yeah, Gaslight Snare was ridiculous to me. I never seem to have the mana set aside. I'm always playing other things during my turns. So... And there's not really that much blue in here. I mean, really, it's just Spectral Adversary, Fading Hope, Gaslight Snare. It almost becomes white here pretty quickly. So, uh, yeah, yeah, let's see. So, yeah, um, who was the most office and who was the MVP? I, I was thinking about it just a second ago. I mean, gosh, I can't I can't pick it out here. I mean. This guy, I, when I stopped focusing on putting out cards for two and instead just used him for creating the white the human tokens, I had a lot of value out of him early game. I just kind of wish that we could build on that a little bit more. Um, just focusing on that, almost like we needed some, like, uh, well, Glorious Anthems would be great. Uh, and anything that would allow your guys to have haste when they came in. Because between Usher of the Fallen and Adeline, those two make for a great theme deck of just pumping out tokens and going at it like constantly. I don't know. So there's while well, everything in here is good. In fact, there's some really good cards in here all together. It's not a great deck. It's not a great deck. So I, like I said, it's a B plus for me. That's what we're going to get. Well, now it's time to say goodbye to you and all your kin. I would like to thank you folks for kindly dropping in. You're all invited back tomorrow to this locality to have a heap and helping of my hospitality. You should like, you know, sit a spell and take your shoes off. Y'all come back now, you hear?